A common meme I see from free market defenders, libertarians, and constitutional conservatives is that taxes are a theft. And while they're absolutely right, taxes are theft. If you don't pay your taxes, guess what? You go to jail. And you're going to find out what kind of damage IRS can do to you. But what happens is that this argument often puts people into a corner where they have to justify paying for the proper services of government. Because then you get dumb, think they're smarter than everyone progressives saying stuff like, Well, how are you going to pay for the police and military and roads and firemen and everything else without taxes? No, you and shut your mouth. It's important to note that there's a huge difference between my tax dollars paying for the proper functions of government like the police, courts, and military as opposed to blatant wealth redistribution in the form of corporate subsidies, foreign aid, and welfare programs. One category goes to pay for essential services to protect my rights. The other is a clear transfer of money from some people to other people. It's also important to note that I at least get to vote on it, meaning that the government needs the consent of the people before they impose or raise taxes to fund the police and the military. Whereas with wealth redistribution, whether it be for building a football stadium, bailing out a bank, social security, Medicare, public education, that's literally people voting away money from other people. When I vote to raise taxes to hire more policemen, the police are going to carry out a service that I will ultimately benefit from. On the other hand, if Steve from down the street is voting to siphon 2% of my paycheck every week for food stamps to pay for his groceries, that's a direct transfer of wealth from me to Steve without Steve providing any service to me. Are taxes ideal? Is this a moral means of financing the government? Absolutely not. But as Ayn Rand states in her book, The Virtue of Selfishness, a voluntary funded government would be the last step in a truly free society. So to squabble over a moral means of financing the government when we have bigger fish to fry is a total waste of time. But I think it's more important to stress the evil concept of forced wealth redistribution while clearly defining the proper role of government. Until then, I'm fine with taxation as a method to fund proper responsibilities of government because I would rather have a government that protects my life and my property rights by taking a little bit of my money than have no government at all. Because without a government, who is going to protect me from piracy and looting gangs? Who's going to prosecute the cat burglar that breaks into my house? Who's going to arbitrate disputes over outstanding debt and broken agreements? What we have now is not ideal nor perfect, but it's much preferable to complete anarchy. Economically speaking, as Henry Hazlitt notes in his book, Economics in One Lesson, in his chapter on how taxes discourage production, when the government is doing only what it's supposed to do, then taxes are rather low and play an insignificant hindrance for economic growth and again are worth the price given that the government protects the private means of production. And I know I've pimped this book before. It's actually been promoted by people like your own Brooke and Ben Shapiro, and I do consider it a must read. In fact, I will link to it down below for anyone that's curious. <laughs>